In this video, uh, we talk all about or discuss about the maxima and minima, which is application of differential calculus. In maxima and minima, to obtain the maximum or minimum value of a certain variable, differentiate the variable and equate the uh, derivative to zero. There are the uh, five steps, no? So, step one, read the problem. Okay, so you can read the problem and understand. Then step two, identify the variable to be maximized or minimized. Or you can figure out, okay? So next is step three, uh, express the quantity in terms of a single uh, variable. Okay, so like example, uh, having uh, the problem having a uh, formulas and areas, uh, volume, okay? And then express also the given quantity differentiate and equate the first derivative uh, to zero okay so next is solve the value of the variable and determine whether the maximize or minimize the given uh, quantity for example number one a rectangle has perimeter of 120 feet find the width if area is to be maximum so we drew a rectangle okay so we emphasize the length and the width okay and then then also the given uh, given quantity or which is the perimeter okay then the area is to be maximum and then we can find the width okay so also you must think the formula of the rectangle which is the area is equals to the length times width or next is the perimeter so that is equivalent of two length plus two width, or the twice of length plus two twice a uh, width. Okay. So let's the given, which is the perimeter, is equals to one twenty feet. Okay. And then substitute the value of the given the perimeter, which is one twenty, is equals to two l plus two w. Then find one twenty minus two l is equals to two w. Then 2w is equals to 120 minus 2l. And then where uh, w is equals to 60 minus l. Okay. So which is the area is equals to length times width. Then area is equals to length times the quantity of 60 minus l. So substitute the equivalent of the w. Then derive. Okay. So derivative of e that is dA is equals to which is 60, then minus uh, 2L DL, okay. where DA over DL, okay, is equals to 60 minus 2L, okay. We must take the derivatives equate to 0, okay. Then 0 is equals to 60 minus 2L, and that is uh, negative 60 is equals to negative 2L is equals to where L is 30. So substitute the value of L. Okay. So W is equals to 60 minus 30. And W is, is, is equals to 30. Okay. Uh, therefore, when the area of the rectangle is to be maximum. Okay. So the rectangle must be a square. So next problem. A closed box whose length is twice its width. Uh, is to have a surface area of 192 n squared. Find the dimension of the box when the volume is maximum. Okay. So, closed box. Imagine uh, the closed box. So, we can draw like this. Okay. This is a closed box. Talking about length and width. So, we identify the length of the width. So, length here and the width. And also, the variable as h, which is height. Okay. Identify the formulas. So, what possible formulas that uh, use, okay, for this problem? So, surface area. So, is equals to the 2LW plus 2WH uh, plus 2 it is the surface area of this uh, rectangular box or uh, what we call the closed box. The volume, okay, so which is the length times width times height, okay. 
So also, V is equals to ln times width times height. So for the given, we have the surface area or SE that is equivalent of 192 in squared. So another is the length. Okay. So the problem says length is twice its width. So therefore, length is, is equals to 2W. Okay. So we cannot solve by using the surface area formula. So substitute the value of the surface area, which is 192 n squared, is equals to 2, the quantity of 2 W times W plus 2 W H plus 2 H, the quantity of 2 W. Okay. So 192 is equals to 4 W squared, so plus 2 W H plus 4 H W. Okay. 192 minus 4W squared is equals to 2WH plus 4WH. And then 192 minus 4W squared is equals to H, the quantity of 2W plus 4W. Okay, so we can uh, factor out, which is the uh, H. Okay, so 192 minus 4W squared minus H, the quantity of 6w so 2w plus 4w that is 6w and then we can now uh, divide by both sides are uh, 6w you know okay so the next is the 192 minus 4w squared over 6w is equals to h okay so next substitute uh, the equivalent of h for the volume equals to 2w times w times 192 minus 4w squared over 6w okay we can cancel the one of the w here okay so 2w times the 192 minus 4w squared over 6 okay 2 over 6 okay then the quantity of 192w minus 4w cube so w times uh, w squared that is w cube now uh, derive in terms of w okay so dv is equals to 2 over 6 the derivative of 192 w that is 192 then the derivative of uh, minus 4 w cube that is minus 12 w squared dw okay so divide by both sides dw so we can obtain the dv over dw and that is equivalent of 2 over 6 the quantity of 192 minus 12 w squared okay so in this uh derivatives we can equate to 0 and that is equivalent of 2 over 6 quantity of 192 minus 12 w squared w is equals to 4 inch and then substitute also the uh equivalent of w here to find the height okay so this is it. 1 and 2 minus 4 times the quantity of 4 squared over 6 times 4 okay so and that is the 16 over 3 inch that is the height and to find the length also okay so length is equals to 2 times 4 that is 8 so therefore the answer is in the dimension of this uh, closed back. So over length is equals to 8 inch. Then height is 16 over 3 inch or 5.33 okay, inch. Then where width is 4 inch. So that is the final answer. Okay, so for example, a lot is in the shape of a quadrant of a circle of a radius 100 meters. Find the area of the largest a rectangular building that can be constructed inside the lot okay so solution okay so we can draw like this okay so in a cartesian plane there are four quadrants first a second third and fourth okay so this is the quadrant of a circle no okay so i draw here uh, then i also draw the rectangular building so constructed inside the lot so next given which is the radius 100 meter okay so from the center of this Cartesian plane uh, to this, okay. The next 
Also, we can say that this is the radius. Okay. So, the diagonal of the rectangle here. Okay. Then, talking about the quadrant or the Cartesian plane. So, this is the x-axis and the y-axis. So, we can now the, use this variable and x and y. Okay. So, x here. Okay. And the y here. Okay. So, to find... The possible uh, formulas now use the Pythagorean theorem, which is the r squared is equals to x squared plus y squared. So, and the other is the area of the rectangle equals to x times y. Okay, so we focus on this. r squared minus x squared is equals to y squared. Then, where y is equals to the quantity of r squared minus x squared to the third one half. Okay, so extract the square root, uh, square uh, both sides, okay, to obtain the equivalent of y uh, variable. Next is to substitute uh, this formula, where e is equal to the quantity of r squared minus x squared to the power one half. We can remove this exponent one half by extracting the square both sides, okay. So, like this, e squared is equal to the quantity of x, uh, quantity of r squared minus x squared, to the power 1 half to the power 2, okay? So, 1 half here is cancelled out, okay? So like this, e squared is equal to x squared, quantity of r squared minus x squared, okay? So, where 1 half here is cancelled out. Then, e squared is equal to x squared, r squared, Minus x to the power 4. So, distribute okay. x squared. In order to obtain the a, so we can now square root again to cancel out this uh, squared. Okay. So, and then e, where e is equal to the quantity of x squared, r squared minus x to the power 4. And then uh, 1 half is the exponent. Okay. So, derive. So d over dx, okay, so is equal, is equal to the one half, the quantity of x squared, r squared minus x to the power 4, to the power negative one half, okay, times the quantity of 2x, r squared minus 4x cubed, okay, so don't forget to use the power formula uh, on this uh, solution. Let us take this d over dx into, or equate into zero. So, 0 is equal to 1 half the quantity of x squared times the r squared minus x to the power 4 to the power negative 1 half times the quantity of 2x r squared minus 4x cubed. Note that 1 half the quantity of x squared r squared minus x to the power 4 to the power negative 1 half cancelled. So, because it will be multiplied by 0. And then the remaining as 0 is equal to the quantity of 2x r squared minus 4x cubed. So simplify 2x r squared is equal to 4x cubed. 2r squared is equal to the 4x squared. Okay, so we can uh, reduce the, the variable of x. Okay, then where x squared is equal to the 2r squared over 4. So substitute here which is y is equal to the quantity of r squared minus 2 r squared over 4 to the power one half okay so substitute the value of r which is 100 meter okay so 100 squared minus 2 times 100 over 2 over 4 to the one half okay so therefore the equivalent of y is equal to the 70.71 so to find also the x value Okay, so substitute also the uh, radius here, which is uh, 100. Okay, so another is equivalent of x is equal to 50 square root of 2. Okay, so next, substitute area is equal to x and y. So where y is 70.71 and x is 50 square root of 2. Okay, where area here is 5000 square meter. And that is the final answer.